can you tell me about White House plumbers without telling me way too much about the show? Right, because of the whole strike thing happening right now. Um, I mean, it, it's currently running, I guess, on HBO, but I really can't talk about it because, you know, with the whole strike thing going on, I can't really promote shows or really discuss too much of it. I can tell you about the audition process as far as like it's something that myself as an actor um, auditioned for back in 2020 before COVID. And I didn't hear about it till about a year later that I got the gig. And that's when we started filming. And uh, just to um, address the current climate for actors and the strike, hence the backdrop here. I'm in a stock room at my uh, daily hustle job, my side hustle job. I have worked while I'm on a TV show. I still have a full time job. So and that's kind of what a lot of us actors are going through, you know, in order to keep my insurance going um, through SAG, which I'm fortunate to have, as well as uh, insurance through this current job that I have. I work in a retail store, um, which a lot of people are familiar with. It's uh, West Elm in New York City. So I'm one of the uh, in-store designers. And right now I'm sitting in the stock room. But this is my side hustle. Luckily, I have wonderful bosses who allow me to audition and uh, leave for occasional jobs when I get them. But I currently have to have both jobs in order to keep my health insurance going. That's the life of an actor. That's my life, at least. And this is still something you want to do? Because I know you've done odd jobs before. You've had a lot of them. And you might want to go into how many you've had. But, like, do you think it's still worth doing? I love it. It's who I am. You know, I don't do this. You mean, there's the perks of, you know, when you work, you're making some decent money and there's perks if you're famous. I'm not famous. I mean, occasionally people recognize me, whether I'm here at the store trying to sell a sofa or selling someone some daily specials at a restaurant. That's always been my life, you know, but we're seen occasionally on episodics and television shows and films. But uh, yeah, many times I've wanted to leave the business, but I'm always coming back to it because it's who I am. It's what drives me. You know, I'm an actor, I'm an artist, so it's what I love to do. Amazing. But you're also a history maker back in the days with Mad TV. Do you think yes. about that often? I do. I mean, I was very proud of that because I was the first Latino series regular on that show. Um, so that was quite an accomplishment for me personally. Um yeah, and just to have been part of that show, which is a very uh, a memorable, irreverent show for a lot of people of all generations, you know. So, um, yeah, it was fun to be on that show. That was kind of like the big foot in the door for me back in the day. It opened up a lot of other doors for me as far as comedy and, uh, and just film and television. Just thinking about, I mean, being in that time to where we are today, what do you want folks like me and the folks that are going to watch this to know about what you guys are doing and standing for right now? We're people who are working our butts off to do our craft, to do our art, to tell stories. And um, going back to the strike, we want to be uh, fairly compensated for it. There's a lot of exploitation of actors in our images, and that's some of the things that we're fighting for with this strike. So hopefully it all come to fruition and um, we get what's due to us. You know, it's only fair. We're not asking for that much. Meanwhile, some certain people are making billions of dollars off of this face and this mug, you know. so. We're not asking for much, just fair wages, you know, a little bit of increase and, um, you know, and no, no exploitation, you know, they're trying to do the whole AI, you know, and that's so completely crazy because that's going to bleed into other industries for sure. So it will affect the economy. It, it will affect the jobs of many other people outside of the entertainment industry. So let's handle it now, I think.